you need to you don't need to make an excuse like it's just well please don't let me die I am popping the fuck off. That was nuts. I should have done sweeping strikes again. That was a mistake. I hit the wrong button. And now, since I have fucking no tactical mastery... Oh, jeez, I messed it up. It was my fault. I can't swap back Mr. over easily. Nice. That was way too much for me to do that. It's my bad. Can't make that mistake for another 30 minutes. That was really good. This hardcore pretty much dead with Season of Discovery. Yeah, I mean, like... For me, well, I mean, I never played like to be fair, right? It, it's just, it's not my kind of thing. But yeah, I, hardcore isn't just like, it, it's not fun. I think that's the problem for a lot of people. Like, it's just stressful. So it's like, why do you want to play something where you're just like constantly like on edge? And also like, WoW isn't really made for hardcore. So, like, you can have dumb things happen. Like, for example, like, remember how Soda had to go full screen whenever he wanted to, whenever he wanted to trade something or go on his bank alt because people could kill his bank alts with, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, failures on the Goblin Mortar? Like, that's, that, that's not, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Like, of course that shouldn't happen. Your Iron Man series owes some stuff? Yeah. You're so salty when it comes to hardcore discussion? I don't know why. Well, the reason why is because... Uh, one of the reasons is that hardcore players, like, take themselves so seriously and it's annoying. I find it to be so annoying, the way that they act. And so, like, whenever Tiny... Whenever Judgment Day happened, I was like, yes. This is... This is... This is Judgment Day. This is exactly what was needed. I mean, it's, like, not good to grief people, right? And, like, if I was Blizzard, I'd abandon the guy. But, you know, I, I'd abandon him and been like, you know, good job. You did it. You died for, uh, you know, you died for our sins. He did get banned? Yeah, but, like, he just made a new account, right? Don't be back for sure. Oh, yeah. my drinks. Did you clean your room? No, no, I, I don't need to. Like, actually, I do kind of, what I need to do is I need to do uh, a P.O. Box stream. Like, I have so many P.O. Box things to open, it'll take me probably three weeks to go through everything. Is WoW more complicated than P.O.E.? P.O.E. is more complicated. Wait, did, did y'all kill her before the guy even respawned? What the fuck? Hardcore because I enjoy it more, it adds an extra layer to the game. Yeah, for me, like, it takes a layer away. Because, like, there's a lot of experimentation and kind of, uh, things that I like to try. I like limit testing with games. And, uh, whenever there's, like, a hardcore mode of the game, it disincentivizes me to limit test because of the risk of it. I think Rock may want more complicated in execution. Well, no, PoE is spending 10 years getting a PhD in the game so you can run through every map and press one button. 
That's basically what we're gonna last. Okay. Yeah, we need to replace this uh, this rogue. Oh, and he's 43 anyway. Well, he's probably just leaving to, to do ZF. I mean, somebody else that does a lot of damage, but less than me, so I can still look good. Doing that right now, Archmage, Hierophon. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? And he just hit the one button, I don't know if using Arc or something like that, it's fucking crazy. I don't know if Arc is still good, I remember I got nerfed like three times. Oh wow. Frost Nova? Oh, dude, you know what? I played Frost Nova Inquisitor. Or Templar? I think this is before Ascendancies. Yeah, it was. I played it in, like, the beta. Because I remember I would farm uh, that one area in... Was it Act 4? The Wastelands with um, Vol? That's, that was, like, my endgame farming area at that time. It was a long time ago. I still have that character. Dried Lake. I don't think it was Dried. I think it was Wasteland or something like that. GG Asmon. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, message Jexar if you want to. Uh, who do you want in? Just, mes just message Jexar if you want to join. Just pick somebody, bro. And we, we can do uh, armory while we wait. Please tell the devs to make WoW free. I want to try it. I do think that if WoW, if WoW went free to play, for the first one, uh, ooh, we got another rope. Uh, I'm not gonna go help summon because you know it's me. I don't really think so. I think this is really dumb. And it's also really easy and low risk. If there's another dungeon you guys think I should do, maybe I can do that. But my plan right now is to do 43. I'm going to do this up to 43. And then after I do this, then I'm going to go and do ZF until 50. Maybe until 48. And then maybe at like 48. Nightmare Incursion. Yeah, but I can't do the Nightmare Incursion. Because if I go and do that, like, it's an open world content, so I'm just going to get attacked the whole time. So, like, I, I can't do that. Like, that's why, for example, um, I didn't want to play on a PvP server, is because, like, there's a lot of content I can't do because of being a streamer. You never do dungeon grinding, sounds exhausting. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Why did you then? Everybody else wanted to. It was a mistake, I shouldn't have done it. I thought about transferring even too. I thought about just like transferring off and just leaving everybody, but I, uh, I haven't wanted to do it yet. You can't transfer? Oh, you can't transfer in sod? Oh, okay. Well, then there it is. Yeah. They're losing money by not having that. In quest later, because you're not fighting for everyone's mobs. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. Can't transfer well, yet, and they have the options to buy in store, and you can't, uh, and you can't use kind of shady. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I have no idea. Do you play this off stream? Yeah, I've leveled off stream in order to get caught up. Word bully alliance off every PP server in classic is pretty lame. 
I think the, the what ends up actually happening is that it's like one like one faction just gets way more popular and then like because if you you think about like 60 40 right people say like oh it should be capped at 60 40. think about every time that you have a 10-man group that and you fight a 15-man group how many times do you think you're gonna win pretty much never right that's 64. so the problem is that even what might seem like a small disadvantage is actually a gigantic one I'm looking old? You think I look old? Are you kidding me? Bro, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bro, PP is not fun anyway. I think World PP is fun. I think World PP is fun. Просто в какой-то момент нахуй игра хочет быть идти Don't look a day over 45. Игра хочет идти не плавно, подлагает где-то нахуй. It's a peaceful class experience in Shark Monster. Yeah, yeah. Где-то веревка нахуй раньше времени нахуй. I don't think I look old at all, by the way. I really don't think so. I feel like I look pretty much the same as I looked 10 years ago. Только обузов тикини. Except for I have less hair. Просто супер ультра мега. Not really? No, you don't? I mean, I don't know. Like... This is... I, I, I don't know, man. I don't think it's been that big of a difference. Yeah. I, I just had more hair. You have longer hair now, so technically you do have more hair. Hope that helps. It doesn't. Мне еще надо, кстати говоря, написать для программу нахуй для завтрашнего дня. Alright, let's go to work. Я планировал сегодня где-то взять клиент. Не сбавляя ворот. Восьми будет. I look better since I stopped raiding. I feel like as soon as I stop raiding and like uh, getting hyper invested into WoW, then yeah, I, I feel like that did improve my life. I'm fucking trying. He's ringing. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Are we? Do we want to keep doing this, or are we gonna go back to Kath? I thought you guys were summoning, and we're gonna meet up here. We can just do like one pull. Let, let's. I, I guess let's just do this poll and then we'll go over to Kath. Uh, I didn't know that. That's my bad. I'm stupid. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Do you think getting involved in stuff outside games helped your life? No. I feel like I, I'm, I feel the same as I always have. I do the same things as I always have. Nothing really has changed. Uh, there's no real difference between... Oh, I actually need that. Uh, there's no difference between, like, you know, how I am now versus before. Uh, it's pretty much all the same to me. Suppose made you calmer too? Yeah, I used to get really invested and, like, upset about WoW. And, like, uh, you know, the things that happened in the game, etc. But nowadays, I just try to enjoy the game and relax and everything's okay. Like, generally for me, this might sound bad, but, like, almost every bad thing in my life is because of another person. So, whenever I'm just in my room and nothing's happening and nobody is allowed to come in my room, then nothing bad can happen to me. Because the bad things come from other people. And personally, I'm fine. Yeah, everything is good for me. Oh, I'm in a level. Okay. Fuck, I messed it up. Agoraphobia? I don't think that it's necessarily agoraphobia. I think it's, I think it's called experience. That's what I would say. It's experience. And also, it's not like I don't like being around anyone. Like, I'm okay being around people for a little bit. But, um... Just a little bit. Oh, wow. Those are actually just better than what I have. Okay, I'm gonna need on those now, too. 
This is what dying a wild raid does to somebody? Yeah. What's a little bit too? I mean, I will do like my podcast every week, which is okay. And then also like sometimes I'll hang out with people. But other than that, um, you know, I kind of like just doing doing my own thing and that's it. I guess to some extent. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not like a, like I, I get like mild social anxiety, I, I think sure. But like usually social anxiety I get is more, it's not really social anxiety. It's social dread. Like I don't want to be here and now I'm here. This is the exact thing I didn't want to do and now I'm doing it. Fuck. Being pressured to fit in. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Don't you get bored sometimes? I was actually so, so I finished everything in Dragon's Dogma 2 because like before like yesterday I had been staying up until like six in the morning every single day playing Dragon's Dogma 2. But I've pretty much finished all the content in the game now. So I'm like, okay, well what do I do now? And I was like, I'm so bored, I'm gonna go to sleep. And so that's why I started the stream earlier today. It's not because I woke up early for the patch. It's because I just, I, I ran out of things to do in the game I was playing. And so I'm like, fuck it, I guess today I'm gonna go to bed early. You know, that's it. Mm. What do you rate Dragon's Dogma now? I would say that it's like a 9, 9.5, depending on like what you care about and what you like. I don't like, for example, how um, the fastest leveling method is so powerful and it's like so the fastest leveling method makes you play the game in one kind of way and i think that's not good and they should have had a version of what the medusa spellbow is for every class i i don't like that i think it's just kind of garbage it's like a very minimal thing that nobody cares about but um yeah that's what i think just killing shit levels you so fast yeah but i'm like level 93 or 95 or something like that so like, I've, I've gotten pretty far into the game. What's the fastest leveling? So there's a bow that you can get from the Medusa that is for rangers, for uh, archers. Uh, not mystic archer, but just base archer. And what that item does is the item gives you, I'm not even kidding, 4x experience. So, like, if you were going to get, like, 1,000 experience, now you get 4,000 4, experience. And, like, so if you kill the Medusa with this item, you get 40,000 experience for the kill. It's fucking insane, right? So, like, think about, like, you know, a Griffin is, like, 7,000, right? Or, like, a Drake is 7,000. So, that's 35,000 or something like that. Yeah, is it 5x? Yeah, I think it's 5x then. Yeah, it must be 35,000. Maybe it's 4x more. Yeah, yeah, that's what it must be. So you get, like, yeah. Basically, you start at 1, and then you go up to 5. So it's, like, an additional 4. So uh, it should be 20% at most. Yeah, it's too strong. And because it's so strong, I feel like I have to play Ranger if I want to level up my character. And, um, you know, I know some people can say, like, oh, well, just don't do that. And it's like, yeah, of course I'm not going to do that. But... I just wish that there were other options that I could do it with because I don't really think Ranger plays very well. Like, it's okay, I, I like it, but it also makes it to where, like, your stamina costs are really high for your spells. So you can't really even cast any spells at all. And you can get around that if you use the Wayfarer vocation, but I didn't really want to do that because I didn't think it mattered that much. And also, like, my gear is so good. Like, I have all like max bis gear like i have like all the dragon gear and it's like completely maxed out uh with like the right enchants on it and everything so i can kill almost every single like non-elite npc in the game in one hit uh if i if i get their weak spot now, some of the bigger ones like the barbarian or a warrior what do you call it? The warrior bandits? Sometimes they take longer. 
There's a lot of mobs. Looks like I ruined another pull. Uh, full gamer mode? Yeah, well, I mean, I, well, you guys need to know, like, I play a lot of games. Like, people think that I don't play games, but, like, that's all I do. And I like doing it, too. It's also, it's not like I, I, don't, I don't like doing it. I, I love playing games. Did you go to the Unmoored World? The Unmoored World took Dragon's Dogma from, like, an 8 or, like, a 7.5 to me all the way up to a 10. Or a, a 9.5 or a... Uh, like, I, I would say if the whole game was like that... It was so weird to me that... It felt like there was so much that was backloaded onto that. And I think that really... I just wish there was more stuff to do in the game. Like, that's really all there is to it. I think the scope of the game is too small. It should have been the whole second half of the game. Yeah, it should have been. I feel like basically, like, you've already pretty much beaten the game at that point, so, like, you're done with the game. But, like, if that had happened earlier on and it wasn't on a timer, it would have been really cool. But I think also the fact that it was at the very end and you had no idea about it also kind of adds to the novelty. So it's hard to say which one would be better. I like it, but the red sky and lighting made me want to leave soon. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. I feel like also if you start New Game Plus, there should be Black Chimeras and, uh, you know, the other NPCs from the Unmoored World uh, that spawn in the open world after that. And I think that was a, a, a bad call on their part. Hoping to add DLC and expand on, on the on Overload? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. New Game Plus doesn't add anything to it? Yeah, it doesn't, and it should. Like, it was weird to me, because, like, as far as I know, I have to go back to the Unmoored World to get more, um, like, Black Chimera materials, right? Like, I, I have to go back and, and restart everything. They must be purified. No? Well, how do you get Black Freakish... How do you get Black Freakish Main if there's no Black Chimeras? They're in the regular world too? A Black Chimera is in the regular world. Really? I haven't seen a single one, ever. That's crazy. There are three under waterfalls? Thanks, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's good to know. I had no idea. Never saw a single fucking one. Ooh. I killed every single uh, single Gore Chimera, but I didn't even realize it. Yeah, the, the only way that I knew about it is because they had an extra bar of health. They're like functionally the same thing. But yeah, I hope that like whenever they add DLC, like in general, like I will say this that. I think in a lot of ways, Dragon's Dogma 1 is a better game. I, I do. I, I think it, it, it's a better game in a lot of ways. It is, yeah. Like, for example, I think the story for Dragon's Dogma 1 was way better. Are you going to scope Dawn Trail this summer? Like, for example, like, what I mean is that I don't know if I will or not. Like, if I didn't understand the nuances of, like, the choice that the Arisen had to make between, like, you know, fighting the dragon or saving the person he loves or whatever, to save the person he loves or just, like, sacrificing them. Like, if I didn't know about that in the first game, I wouldn't have understood what was happening at the end of the, of the, of the second game. Because it really wasn't communicated very well. Whereas, like, in the first game, it makes- it, it immediately makes sense. I mean, it's a sequel. But it, it's not, though, really, right? It's another game. Like, there's no context from the first game and the second game. 
Держись. Like the closest thing you have is like the 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 like the Atlantis city that gets risen up from the sea. Is like the building there is um you know it's the Grand Soren like castle. Like that's it. Everything else is all the same. Or it's all different, I mean. There's like not any continuity. And like also the dragon it's the same dragon. It's a sequel gonna give a recap of the main engine. Yeah, yeah, it should still be easy to understand. Are we gonna re are we gonna redo this? It's a sequel 11 years later, nobody's gonna remember it anyway. Yeah. Okay, we've got a spot open. Somebody wants to message Jexar, and uh, we can get somebody in. Watch the Curse Farms video about destruction of games. You might enjoy the Games as a Service as a Fraud video. I don't think Games as a Service is a fraud. I disagree with that. I know what people are talking about whenever they mention it, but I don't think that like having a Games as a Service is, is a bad thing. It's only a bad thing whenever you take the autonomy away from other users to make something, uh, what do you call it? To make something after the game stops being offered. Have you ever watched the Dragon's Dogma anime before? I didn't even know that existed. You already watched that video? Yeah, maybe I did. It's garbage. Hmm. We need a healer. Jaxar, can I zone back in? I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I didn't to build anything. Good guild healer needs five minutes. Yeah, it's fine. This is now you can play Dragon's Level 1 before the second one came out? Yeah. Season discovering SM Path all over again. What it is, man. It is what it is. Are you gonna just farm SM again? I kind of have to. Like, I, I, I pretty much have to... I have to level, like, in instance, because I'll get stream sniped if I don't. Because, like, if, if I could just do it without having to worry about that, I would. I think open world, well, open world grinding would be better if I could do it. That would be so bad. Я собираю триплетов никуда, нахуй. Шесть триплетов никуда. Шесть триплетов. Сражение в самом разгаре. Ну шесть триплетов никуда, блядь. Минус одно существо, плюс один золотой. Окей, хорошо. Минус одно существо, плюс один золотой. Хорошо, хорошо. От таких надо избавляться. Вот тебе золотой. Судьба мира и когда есть что разыграть. All righty. Фортуна или участь. 
может это существо решить no, you do open world you fall off got your horse you think people wouldn't try to attack me what do you mean yeah like you really think that they wouldn't do that we gotta wait for the one healer and we're good yeah I, I don't understand You don't really wild stream anymore. I doubt people care that much. You don't understand the way streaming works. So it's not about being a streamer for a game. It's about having viewers. And if you have more than like 5,000 viewers or more than 1,000 viewers, people are going to try to camp you because they want to see their name on the screen in front of a bunch of people. It has nothing to do with whether somebody is a WoW streamer or not. This is common sense. How do you not understand you Have you thought about what, you think, what you're saying? Besides rage baiting? Well, no, no. Do you understand what, what, what... Okay, that makes sense. Good. Get out. The shit talk. Another shit talk retard coming into my stream, talking shit, being obnoxious. What is that? This sounds like a chatter making stupid comments that appear on screen. Yeah. Rebozo, Bader, deserve. True. Thank you. Whenever heal gets here. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a tank and do the rest of it. How often do you get ganked off stream? Um, I mean, sometimes, right? It's like if somebody sees me, like it's not constant, but sometimes it'll happen. But people will usually do it, like, people will usually do it on stream. I mean, it makes sense, right? The finding runes is such a stupid task. No, I don't mind the finding runes. I think it's okay. It's just to get a reaction out of you. Yeah, usually I ban a lot of the people that do that kind of stuff. Like, in general, uh, I don't, I don't really understand like what type of mental disorder people have on Twitch to make them think that they're gonna come into somebody else's stream and like be hostile or rude, and then um, what do you call it? And, and then not get banned. It's weird to me that people think like that. Like, how could you possibly... Uh, like, what's wrong with you? Mine's autism? I mean, it's gotta be something, right? The classic yeah, Andy counter. Oh yeah, the classic Andy counter for yeah, unbanned requests. I remember that. As you say yourself, anything you say publicly is open to scrutiny. Yeah, but it's like... I just, I don't understand, like, what the, what the thinking is there, right? Because if somebody has, like, a bad opinion or whatever, like, that's fine. But, like, going into, like, a streamer's chat to, like, argue with them, it's not that they shouldn't be allowed to do it. Like, they can. It's just, I don't understand what, what compels a person to do it. seeing all those feminists attack you on that one thread. I don't blame you for banning them. They're unhinged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that girl from yesterday. I actually messaged her about that because, like, I didn't want her to think that, like, you know, I was, like, singling her out. And she, like, she was actually pretty cool. Like, she totally understood. And so, yeah, everything was fine. Because, like, I don't really care about, like, uh, chatters or, like, you know, random, like, Twitter people getting mad. But, like, if somebody thinks that I was, like, actually trying to, like, make them feel bad or, you know, single them out or something like that, like, I, I, I don't really like to do that. So, yeah. 
How long do you think until Dragon's Dogma 2 gets new content? A long time. Probably not for at least a year. I bet it's not going to be anytime soon. Have you played Bridgeborn Beta on stream? No, I haven't. Before using her as a reason to go on a warpath? What percentage do you believe Trump is going to win? Um, What's my percentage expectation I think Trump is going to win? I would say like 85%. I think it's very, very, very likely. 0% because it's rigged. Uh, but like, I mean, how do you win the first time? If, it, if it's rigged, then how do you win? I'd be shocked if he didn't win. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think he will. I think the reason why, it, like, I, I feel like Trump would have won last time too, except for COVID. Like, COVID was like so bad, and people blamed COVID on Trump. And so, you know, there it is. So yeah, now this time we don't have COVID. There's no COVID problem. And so, there it is. I wonder why. Well, it's not about like whether like, people always like. I'm not really interested. I don't really care about like who's right and who's wrong. Because the truth is, I've been in a lot of communities, and 99% of the people that are talking about it don't understand it either. But I do think that with that, like people, it's, it's easy to say that he was successfully blamed for COVID. I think that's definitely true. Now, whether you think that that's justified or not, it's up to you. But I do think that media and a lot of other policymakers and, and politicians did successfully paint him as being responsible for it. Are we Will he fumble the ball on that? I don't know. I mean, like, I think there's probably some instances where he did, some where he didn't. You know, like, yeah, there's the BLM stuff too, but I really think it was like primarily COVID. And I think if COVID didn't happen, Trump would be president right now. Like that was probably like, cause what I usually assume is like, whenever I think about what the people think, I think about what's the dumbest thing that a person can think. Okay, well, that's what people think. And so the way that I, I look at like voting is that I think most people vote on like a very, very simple thing. Are things better now than they were four years ago? And if the answer is yes, then they keep the same guy in office. And if the answer is no, then they want somebody new. It's that simple. So I think, you know, at the height of COVID with like the 2020, of course you're gonna see people that are like, yeah, well, let's get somebody new in here because of how bad it was. You see kind of what I'm saying here? Where this, uh, where this is going? Big portion are emotional voters too? Hmm. It's something like 42% or something like that of voters are single issue voters. Meaning like they literally only care about one thing and if you don't do that one thing, they're not gonna vote for you. Also called idiots. Well, whatever you want to call them, right? That, that's what they are. And like, you know, if, you, if you're in politics, you have to deal with idiots because idiots are the ones who are going to be voting for you. There's more idiots than people that are idiots. First time they underestimated them, second time they cheated. Um, I don't think, like, it, I, I've seen the evidence that people have for like that the election was rigged. I don't think it's very good evidence. And I think at best, the only thing it's really evidence for is incompetency. Because like if you're if you're getting cheated out of every election, then you're bad at cheating, and we should get somebody else who's better at cheating in, right? Because like you clearly can't hold those people accountable because they're not going to hold themselves accountable. So even if they did cheat, you still lose. You should have cheated better than they did. 
because like, yeah, it, it, like you know, for example, like if you if you assume everything that they think is true, right? Where it's like you know they control every institution, and you know like there's no way that you can get around it. Well then, why would you want to support somebody who can't stop that from happening? So yeah, that's 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 my thinking on it. I, I never took that stuff very seriously. I remember my mom used to constantly try to like convince me that it was true. Just and like she was like, oh well you've gotta look at this or look at that, and it's like I just I, I'm not seeing it, man. They're blocking the process, the poster bar on the windows. Press being in there to view it. Lines of boats coming at 2 a.m. Red wagon flyer carts. I don't know, man. Like, to be honest with you, I was surprised that... I was surprised that the election was as close as it was. I thought Trump was going to get blown the fuck out. Yeah, I was really surprised. I thought I thought it was going to be, like, a much bigger disparity. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, because, like, yeah, well, because COVID, right? I mean, I, I thought COVID, like... COVID fucked up everybody's life. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I thought he would have lost by like 10, 20%. Biden won by 7 million votes. Yeah. Hmm. RFK is awesome. I hope he's president in four years. Uh, I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll see. Thinking there aren't conspiracies? I didn't say that there aren't conspiracies. I said that the evidence for the conspiracy I don't think is good. So, like, uh, it's not that I'm not going to believe a conspiracy theory. I have no problem believing a conspiracy theory. But if you want me to believe a conspiracy theory, you have to have receipts for it that make sense. And what I was saying is that the receipts for the Trump thing doesn't make sense. If, if that's upsetting for you, then come up with better receipts. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, yeah. Unless you agree with them, and then everybody just knows it's true, so we don't need to figure that out. Of course they're doing this. I feel like people have, like, you know, like, the, the standards that people have for, for evidence, it's like, you know, if I agree with it, you know, oh, well, we don't need to look this up, everybody knows it. But if I don't agree with it, it's like, you know, is this a peer-reviewed study? And they, like, turn into fucking scientists, you know, trying to figure out a reason why they don't, they don't have to take this data seriously. Liberal voters' minds. Grandparents and, and parents vote liberal, so they vote liberal, at least in Canada. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they do in Canada. I have no idea. As I said, man, if it's not in the U.S., I really don't give a fuck. Fuck. Is transmog competitions returning anytime soon in the future? Love those, it was a great time. Uh, I, oh, nice. Nice. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Well, fuck. Can't win them all, right? Let me go back. I don't understand why anybody blames Trump for COVID. Well, it's not about, like, again, one big mistake that I think a lot of people make is they try to use their own thinking in order to justify why something else happens or why somebody else thinks something that's different. They're not thinking the same way that you are. Yeah, like, they, they don't, they, like, what, what you consider evidence isn't what they consider evidence. You can't justify something illogical with logic. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you're never going to be able to figure out how a person thinks. You have to think about how, like, here's a good way to look at it. The best argument isn't an argument. I think that's true in almost every circumstance. Where, like, if you want to convince people of something, you have to do so in an emotional way. 
And like, that's how you can reach the most people because most people don't really think logically. Let's go back. Do you plan your streams? Uh, I have some, yeah, yeah, I do. I plan like, okay, I'm gonna do this or something like that, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't do like hard planning where it's like, I'm gonna do this, then that, then the other thing. But it's like, yeah, I'm going to go live. I want to talk about a few of these things. And, you know, that's why I'll like things on Twitter before I go live. And like, oh, yeah, I was going to talk about this or go over that. And sometimes I don't, right? Sometimes there's like, you know, instances where, you know, I was going to talk about something. I just didn't have time for it or didn't want to or for whatever reason. So you don't write stuff down for talking points? No. No, I don't. I don't need to. Um... I can usually remember what I'm going to say and what I'm going to think. Now, like, everybody makes mistakes, right? But in terms of, like, writing down things, like, uh, I, I don't like scripting things because it takes longer and it's a waste of time. And so I don't do it. I think scripting is, like, a good idea to do for videos. And there actually have been times, there's been a lot of times where I will re-record a video two or three times because I feel like I'm wasting time talking about something that isn't important or, you know, like, the video's too long or something like that. Because, like, for me, one problem that I have a lot is that, like, my video, my videos go longer instead of shorter because I'll always think of, like, something else to talk about. Whereas for other people, like, you know, if they don't know what they're going to talk about, they have, like, less things to say. But for me, if I don't find it out, I, I will just have more and more and more things to say. I like longer? Yeah, some people do. Some people like the shorter videos. I think that in general, it depends on what the, what the topic is. Like, sometimes people just want to have, like, something that's, like, short and easy to understand, rather than some, like, long-term bullshit. And, like, also, like, if you look at a video and it's, like, 39 minutes, like, you might not want to watch that as much as, like, a nine-minute video. I think there's definitely a lot of psychology about, you know, if you have a shorter video, like, people are going to be more likely to watch it. That's why, for example, like, shorts are so popular. It's because, like, people might not have a lot of time on their hands to watch, like, a, a long, full, full-length video. For me, I like doing both. I think also, like, because of what my natural inclination is, I view it as, like, a challenge to create a short video because it's, like, a, a way that I'm exercising that part of, like, my creativity. And so I'm, like, trying to, okay, like, what needs to be said, what doesn't need to be said, and then, like, trying to, like, narrow things down. Because that's something I struggle with a lot. But yeah, you're not gonna like By the way, this doesn't mean like I'm not going to do like long-form videos, right? I'm absolutely going to keep doing that Yeah, I like doing long-form videos a lot. It's just that it, like not every video has to be three hours An eight video hour video into about the sweet baby movies. Yeah, I don't really care like I mean the thing is that I feel like people got, like, hyper-focused on, like, the sweet baby stuff. And the truth is that it's a... Like, that's, like, a systemic problem with, like, all of, like, media. And I think it's a problem with, like, Western media in general. Where, like, people that do... People that are in Western media feel like they... They have some sort of obligation. And a sense of, like, in my opinion, like, superiority over, like, their audience. And they have to, like, dictate to their audience how they should think and how they should feel. Now, I see this a lot, where it's like, oh, well, the, the message of this has to be good because this is the, uh, uh, the message of this has to be good because, you know, we want people to, to take this thing seriously, right? And, like, we know people won't think like this on their own. Uh, forcing the obligation, the yeah, audience to like what they don't like. Yeah, and that never works. Like, the moment that you're against your own audience is like that begins the countdown timer for you like losing relevance or people not consuming your content anymore because like nobody wants to be talked down to especially not from somebody who's in like hollywood 
And the reason why is that, I mean, think about how many like weird grooming scandals there are and like all these other weird things that happen in Hollywood. Like, do you really want to listen and like get your morality from a person who's like, you know, embroiled in like all these like weird fucking creepy things? Probably not. I mean, I know I wouldn't.